Hey guys, Beluji here. In this video, I'm going to share an amazing resource that is going to enable you to bring your UI UX design skills to the next level, and that is Google Material Design. Now, just before you think, oh, but Google Material Design guidelines and the resources are going to be tailored around Android design, but what if I want to do designs for Apple or other type of designs? Well, the same principles are going to apply and I want to invite you to go here under the material design guidelines. So we're at material.io and as you can see in the material design guidelines, you're going to have all of these sections here in the side. And uh, this is an amazing, amazing research to understand the basic, not only of material design, but of good UI UX design in general. So as you can see, as a, a start, uh, they're going to give you an introduction as to what uh, the properties uh, and what is the reasoning really behind the material design. So you see all of these uh, amazing shots on dribble using drop shadows, using white space uh, and uh, these cool animations. But uh, here, they're going step by step in uh, making you understand why they look amazing, why do they work and what doesn't work. So you're going to see all these uh, amazing examples uh, which are going to break down uh, the logic of some of the top UI UX designs uh, out there. And these are things which are going to help you level up really fast if you just take a moment and you have a look at these resources. Now they're also really easy to understand and uh, they're also interactive. So in my personal opinion, they're better than most books and even courses out there. So it's definitely a really good investment of your time to just go through these. Now there is a lot in the Google Material Design guidelines. So treat it as a course or a book. You're not ex going to be expected to go through all of this in one single video or one single session. It's going to take time, but this is one of my best recommendations that I always give to to my coaching students is that is uh, to actually go ahead and study these uh, different uh, uh, elements and concepts of uh, Google Material Design since uh, most people think that uh, great UI UX design is just a matter of uh, visual aesthetics and you know color combinations and finding the right font uh, but uh, the reality is that uh, whenever you see a great uh, UI UX design experience uh, each and every one of those uh, elements uh, have a logic behind it. So you're not going to be naturally drawn to a solution which uh, uh, is not really fulfilling uh, some key criteria, which are actually explained over here. And uh, as a brief overview, I want to um, really uh, have you focus on uh, things like the layout, uh, which uh, is really important. And uh, some of these elements are not going to be, maybe maybe they're going to be like too granular and stuff, but I would definitely um, suggest to go through the layout uh, and things like the colors and the navigation and the, and the typography, because uh, those are going to be really useful, uh, as well as iconography and shape. Now, if you're going to really take it one step further, uh, you can go and uh, have a look at the motion and even the interaction sections. But in my opinion, that's a smaller portion of what the UI UX designer do, especially if you're just starting out, some of these sections might be quite advanced. So if you're just um, starting out in UI UX design, I would, I would highly recommend you to check out these sections right here, here all the way up to shape and then start doing because it's really important not only to read through the guidelines and uh, seeing the examples, but actually start taking action. So one great exercise which you can do, which is going to help you speed up your learning process by quite a lot, uh, is to try and replicate uh, some of these concepts uh, in uh, maybe a Figma file or a sketch file or an Adobe XD file. And uh, as you're doing, as you're recreating, these examples of success and also the ones of failures, you're going to bring your design skills to the next level really fast because by doing, you're going to memorize these concepts and really absorb them to a new level. So really hope this was helpful. And uh, I want to remind you that on my channel, I have over 400 videos on UI UX design. I've been a UI UX designer for over nine years. 
and uh, I'm basically sharing my knowledge for free over there. So feel free to check it out if you're interested and I'll see you in the next video.